Hi guys, my name is Paulina. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are continuing to main game Plants vs Zombies in Scratch. This is the last part of tutorial. We will add house point of plants, cherry bomb, also some sounds and condition for winning and for losing. Let's open our project and add variables for house points for plants. We need to create hotspot for sunflower, for walnut, and for pea shooter. I choose sunflower, go to variables, make a variable for the sprite only, because every clan of sunflower will have separate house point. Call it house point flower. When I start a cyclone, let's set house point to 100 and let's add condition forever check if touching zombie then we need change house point by minus 10 and wait one second we need this delay so that zombie don't eat flowers immediately and also we need check if health point is zero, then let's do the same like we did in zombies. So first ghost effects and delete clone. So repeat 10 times, change ghost effects by 10 and then delete clone make sure it's inside if condition so it's a script for sunflower and we need to make the same for walnut and for pea shooter let's do this Great, we made scripts for sunflower, walnut, and GP shooter. We need to program zombies when it's touching plants. If zombies touch plants, they don't have to move left, they need to walk on the spot. So we need to create condition. If and ch choose touch sunflower, touch walnut or touch pea shooter and put it in the or two variants and put another or three variants be careful and put it when it's bright like here and here and we need to put it in forever loop be careful and we forever change x by minus 0 0.3 for go on the spot we need opposite change x by plus 0 0.3 let's check i plan it and as you can see zombie doesn't move further and it it's plants and it disappear great our code is working now let's go to the second step program cherry bomb cherry bomb differs from another surprise when we plant cherry bomb it immediately increases in size and explode all zombies that are around cherry bomb should delete so first let's make animation for cherry bomb let's see the costumes we have seven costumes eight it's a hack we have a sprite which is 
bigger than the other ones, we will check if zombies touch the circle, it should disappear. So if you don't have the sprite, you should just draw it. So let's make animation for changing costume from 1 to 7. We need to change costume 6 times, that's why we repeat 6 times next costume and make it with a small delay. I put it here and let's wait 0 0.3 seconds and we do it immediately after we set it. Let's check. I click on the cherry bomb and X change costumes and pooh, it's explode. Great. After this, we need switch costume to 8, the last one when it's a black circle and we need to make sprite transparent. Not hide, but set ghost effects to 100. Let's see how it works. I place it, explode and then disappear. After this, let's add small delay uh, before switch costume, like 0 0.1. Great. And after this, we need broadcast message to zombies. We should say zombies that there is a bomb. Broadcast message. Let's call it bomb. After this, Cherry will wait and delete clone. Don't forget to delete this clone because we didn't see it, but it's in the field. And now go to zombies and we need to program script. When I receive bomb, every zombie should check if Cherry bomb, we need to delete this clone like we did here. I can just duplicate this and put it here. But I also want to change effects, not ghost. I want brightness, so our zombies will become dark. Effects by minus 10. Great, so let's check. And it became darker. Cool. Let's wait for more zombies. Oh, cool. And here we go. Great. So our cherry bones is ready. Now let's add sounds to the game. We can go to backdrop or any sprite, go to sounds and upload sounds. I have a link for you in description areas so you can find their sprites, pictures and also sounds to the game select all of them. Great, this one pop I delete. Crunch, it's for eating, it's for zombie growing. Cool, it's a for menu. If you will create the first stage with menu, you can use it. Plant, okay, when we plant the flowers or another's. Oh, it's a backstage sound plot for people it and the zombies are coming oh it's it this is we can play before zombies coming in the backdrop let's play in the main music when the green flag clicked forever go to sounds and play plans with zombies soundtrack until then let's check yes cool the main sound is ready. Now let's add for sunflower, walnut and pea shooter sound when we plant them. Here before set X and set Y, let's start sound and also go to sounds and we need plant. Open, great and here start sound plant and let's do it for walnut and for P shooter also. Let's check. Great. The sound. Cool. 
Also, I want to collect sounds with a sound. I choose from a library pop sound and when the sprite clicked start sound pop here and for the second and for the second sounds too. Great. Now let's add sounds to zombies. Let's add sound here before we creating clones. Go to zombies sounds and upload sound. Uh, we need crunch. We need groan and this one. And also need split and zombies are. Let's start sound zombies are. The zombies are coming. Great. When we touch in P bullet, we here start split. Let's check. The I put are coming. Great. Uh, and also let's add sound when zombies eat our plants. Play sound crunch until done. And also we have two sounds groan and, and this one. Let's make that the zombies will randomly play it. So I need another script when I start as a clone forever. Play sound groan until done and grown five but with delay yes not permanently but with the delay and pick random from five to ten and here five to ten great Now our game became more funnier, more wonderful. Let's see. Yes, it's eating with a sound. Cool. I really like it. Let's go to the next step. Let's create condition for winning. So we will win when we defeat all zombies. So we should check if we already has created all of the 25 zombies so they all appear in the field and we defeat all of them so in our list zombies we have zero in each row that means that we are win so first let's create variable for counting how much zombies we already create make a variable for all sprites let's call it zombies when the green flag clicked we set zombies to zero and when i start as a clone it means we created clone we change variable zombies by one and we need to check let's make condition if zombies zombies equal 25 so we created all 25 zombies and then in our zombies list we have zeros everywhere item one of zombies item 2 item 3 item 4 and item 5 is 0 we can make two words we can just equal 0 equal 0 equal 0 and use and or we can check sum of this is also should be equal to 0 let's do it with uh, sum just duplicate we need five gaps one two three four five one be careful it's not so convenient so if you have zeros in each item the sum also will be zero if the sum is equal to zero be careful put it here one two three four five is zero then it means that we are win let's change backdrop and stop the game first go to backdrops i just want to duplicate this and
So in the backdrop, don't forget when the green flag clicked, switch backdrop to the stage, the first one. And in our condition, here we need to switch backdrop to winning, stop all. Where we should put it? Let's check it when we delete zombies. So here I suggest to broadcast message when we delete clones here before deleting the clone. Let's broadcast message checking winning and also with a cherry bomb broadcast checking winning and do this when I receive checking winning. Now let's make the last step for losing the game. We were losing after zombies ate our brains. So first we need to create, we need to add sprite with brain, change name brain, and we need to set five brains on each row. First let's change size to 15 I think. Yes, and I want to put it here, 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 and here, five times. So let's just make clones. When the green flag clicked, repeat five times, create clone of myself. We can check Y coordinates. So I choose go to, first clone should go here, it's minus 130, and the next clone should change Y position by 50. Let's see. Great. Our own block should hide. When I start as a clone, brain will show. Okay, let's change Y coordinates, not just 50 by 60 maybe, because we have like a little bit different picture. Are Great, I think it's cool. So now we will check if zombies eat brains, then we lose. In a brain, let's check create condition if touching zombie. We will don't create health spawn for brain. If zombies already touch brain, we'll eat it immediately. Let's add ghost effects like we create for plants. Repeat 10 times. And after this, we will change backdrop to game over and stop the game, stop all. So, of course, go to backdrop, duplicate, and write here. Cool. And in the brain, here we switch backdrop to game over and stop all. We can check it, just wait until zombies go to brain. Okay, here, touching, game over. Just in condition, let's add play sound crunch until done. Okay, and check. Zombies ate our brains and it's game over. Great, we finally finished our game. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon. Please write in the comments which project I should do next. See you next time. Bye.